Thank you. All right, so my problem is lack of recycling. Now, people in our community do not recycle enough. I usually see plastic bags and plastic bottles on the ground, on the streets, or just in the trash cans that are recycled. Now, this matters to me because my family and I, we've always been, we've always been trying to do whatever we can to help the, help the, help the community and take any opportunity we can to recycle. Now, my solution is I'm creating a website that will promote clothing made out of recyclable materials. And you can make useful items out of these materials by first breaking down the plastic into shreds or flakes <coughs> and melting them into fiber pellets spun into yarn and made out of clothes to make clothes. You can create many things out of these materials, such as like rakes, playground equipment, recycle bins, kids' toys. And now my main goal is to encourage people to seek out websites like mine and to create a bigger businesses for recyclable materials and to promote my website, my website, I try to reach out to programs like the Student Recycling Coalition, where they go across Indiana encouraging students to recycle. And then I would try to reach out to them and ex try to expand this idea of recycling. Questions or points of clarification for Nick? That's from us, right? I don't have any questions, Nick, but that was good, man. So here's kind of what I really like. A lot of people will see a problem, but don't give us a solution, their solution to the problem. They just like to talk about what the problem is. And I love that you didn't only give us one solution, but you gave us a number of different solutions. Um, and then you had some goals for what you're going to do with these solutions that you come up with, right? Uh, so I really like that. My thought was excellent. Um, you just you pop be fired up, man, right? You got a great problemtunity. Just be fired up. Look up. Talk to us. Own it. You know what I mean? All right. Excellent stuff. No, same thing for me as well. Uh, great problem to have a solution for. Um, it's all over. Definitely coming up with a, an idea to where the recycling essentially is, is a great, great, uh, great solution to the problem. <coughs> if you were to do this, would you plan on starting small, just within the school, within the city, within your county, or would you try to go statewide, nationwide? How small um, would you like to start? At first, I would go um, just statewide, and then I try to expand that way. Do you think you've had benefits reaching out to other school districts, trying to get the other schools involved, create like a competition to see who can raise the most materials? Have you thought about ways to get more recycling? Um, didn't really think about that, but I will. I love the fact that you already identified a partner with the Student Recycling Center. Um, have you thought with, about um, on your website also promoting recycling, like picking up some of that material and taking it to the recycling center? Mm. Yeah, I was just trying to um, just reach out to them and try to implement my ideas and try to see where we can just connect and see how we can help each other. So I love this project. I've been sharpening since I think the very beginning and hear very little about recycling and I think there are huge opportunities to improve recycling nationwide. 
but it's really costly, right? Like taking a product and break, taking a bottle and breaking it down and recreating something takes a lot of time, a lot of resources. So I would encourage you to look at organizations locally that are doing maybe some of what you want to do because you're probably going to struggle on the front end to be able to create something that you can immediately scale and take statewide. So start with Indianapolis and reach out to people for Urban, urban Progress Pup. They have taken um, places like the RCA Dome that have been torn down and recreated handbags and clothing out of them. So look at what's happening locally and then see how you can help fold into that because I think that will allow you to make a greater impact as one person as you build up your idea and build up your resources. But if you really want to do something like this, I would, I would make your goals a little smaller on the front end knowing that if you can leverage people that are already doing the same things, you don't have to recreate the meal. Right. Could you say people for urban progress? Yeah. 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 I would also say similar to Val, like, get up here and be your own hype man. Like, you have a passion for this. It's very clear in how you constructed your presentation, so sell it to us. Like, smile at us, engage with us. Like, you can get your audience excited about this just with your energy. All right, thanks, Nick. All right, thanks, Nick.